Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Muhammad's Boom Boom Room, where all of my guests either agree with me completely or they go boom. I am your host, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon me. And with me now is, what is your name again? What do they call you? Apostate Prophet. Prophet. Apostate Prophet. Prophet before me? Or prophet after me? After you. Wait, 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 calm down. Calm down, it's, it's important. I just want to talk. Calm down, man. After? How dare you call yourself a prophet? Haven't you read the Quran? Which I haven't because as everyone knows, I can't read. I am the final prophet, the seal of the prophets. There is no prophet after me. Why hasn't the peaceful Uma gently chopped your head off yet? That's not, that's not that easy nowadays, especially not in places where you don't rule. How come you're supposed to be the last prophet anyway? What is the last prophet? What is that supposed to be? It sounds like a dramatic title of a very boring movie. Well, whatever it is, it'd still be better than the last Jedi. But anyway, I don't have to explain myself to you. The great God Allah declared that I am the final prophet for all times. People can easily say, peace be upon Muhammad. Peace be upon me. The final prophet. And it is like I am with my believers in their hearts. Also, I had the seal of prophethood on my back between my shoulder blades. You mean, you mean you have a giant mole on your back? It is the seal of prophethood. Wait, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself, AP. How big is your umma? My, uh, oh, oh, umma, that, that, that started like... How many followers do you have? I, I have su subscribers, if that's what you mean. About 170,000 or so, as of this moment. Ah! 170,000 subscribers. 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 Subscribers? Subscribers. Why are you repeating yourself? I have much more than 170,000 subscribers. I have 1.6 billion right now. And there have been many more throughout history. My Uma is the greatest. Like I always say, every man can have an Uma, but I have the biggest Uma. Well, that just sounds weird. On the Day of Judgment, I will brag about the size of my Uma compared to that of the other prophets. By the way, who would follow me if they came back right now. But... Isn't Jesus a prophet according to you? Peace be upon me, him. But peace be upon me, most of all. Jesus currently has about 2.2 billion sub 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 subscribers. Now you made me say it. He has about 2.2 billion followers. Well, it, no, they're not following the real Isa. They call him God, Allah. This is Kufr, Shirk. They're not following the real Rasul, Isa ibn Maryam, daughter of Imran. They still have a bigger ummah. The great God Allah says in the Quran, whoever calls the Messiah, Isa Allah and son of Allah is a kafir. And Allah has forbidden them paradise. They will go into hellfire and stay therein forever. So, for 600 years, Christians followed the wrong Jesus. And then you brought a Quran which knew the real Jesus. And Christians were misled for 600 years. And Allah didn't bother at all, until you came and revealed the joke. Peace be upon me. The joke is on them. Allah is the best of deceivers. <laughs> Whatever. You did touch an interesting point, though. I wanted to talk to you about that. You said Mary daughter of Imran. Miriam. Yes, Mary. Miriam. Mary. Miriam. Mary. You 
are being very difficult. <laughs> Me? You said Maryam, daughter of Imran, but Jesus' mother Maryam's father's name was not Imran. Oh yeah? Are you stupid like that Socrates fellow? Of course it was! Allah says in his glorious, holy, only unchanged and perfect book, the Quran, that Imran, peace be upon him and me, had a daughter called Maryam, and that daughter then gave birth to Isa, and that is why Imran's family has such a high status. And that is wrong. Maryam didn't have a father called Imran. Her father's name was Joachim, for all we know, not Imran. Oh yeah? Who said that? Everybody. Or at least every source we know that ever mentioned his name. He was always known as that, not, not as Imran. Well, we call him Imran, and Allah knows best. How? Imran is not even close to Joachim. You are confusing Maryam, mother of Jesus, with Maryam, sister of Aaron. Yes, sister of Aaron, Maryam, daughter of Imran, and mother of Isa. <laughs> Muhammad. Say, peace be upon me. Peace be upon me. No, say, peace be upon you. Peace be upon me. Say, peace be upon Muhammad. I will say, peace be upon Muhammad. Once you say, the apostate prophet. Say my name. Heisenberg? Well, Mohammed, Jesus' mother Mary didn't have a brother named Aaron or a father named Imran. You are confusing the two Maryams, prophetess Miriam, daughter of Amram, whom you call Imran in Arabic, had a brother called Aaron and lived over 1000 years before Jesus and his mother Mary. That Imran also had a son named Moses. Moses, Aaron, and prophetess Miriam were the children of Imran, who, again, lived more than a thousand years before Mary and Jesus. Your Quran obviously made a huge mistake here, and I would appreciate if you finally came to admit this, instead of dancing around it. Dancing is haram! Whatever it is you do, I mean, isn't it a huge coincidence that you interestingly call Mother Mary's father Imran, and you also call Mother Mary sister of Aaron, when Mother Mary neither had a father named Imran nor a brother named Aaron. But there was actually a different Mary, prophetess Miriam, who did have a brother named Aaron and a father named Amram, or Imran. Did you just say... Prophetess Miriam? Yes, Prophetess Miriam. Ha! A woman whom you call a prophetess. A woman prophet. Who would have thought? You don't know about Prophetess Miriam. What? I don't know. Allah sends no female prophets. All his prophets are men. Prophetess. <laughs> Women are for marrying and plowing, like a field. I had more than 10 wives at the same time. And as generous and merciful and powerful as I am, I would plow all of them in one night. Did you know that? Yes, for some completely weird reason, we have reports about that specific detail, which, which by the way, doesn't sound believable at all. It's true. I had the strength of 30 men because I am the final prophet, the best and most important of all prophets, which is why Allah gave me the sexual strength of 30 men. Okay, Muhammad, I believe you. And it's also very relevant and helpful to Islam and Muslims and all humankind that you have the masculine vitality of 30 men. Everyone is now happier and better and full of fulfillment due to that wonderful knowledge. Do you know the burden of the final prophet? The final prophet has such a big mission, such a big gift 
Allah chose me of all humans to be the seal of the prophets, which is why he showed me the truth and the falsehood and heaven and hell and the secrets of life. And he gave me the nocturnal vitality of 30 men, the sexual strength of 30 men, so I could plow all my beautiful wives. Oh, how I miss Aisha. Do you know the best thing about marrying a young girl? While she plays with her dolls, you can play with her. Okay, okay, we're getting off track. I'm really not interested in your sick fantasies right now. We were talking about Mary. What about Mary? There's something about Mary. What do you want with that whole Mary thing? Yes, the Quran says that Mary, mother of Isa, was the sister of Aaron. But what it means... <coughs> What it means is that it was the custom in her time to call each other by such names, like Hello Mary, spiritual sister of Aaron, who lived a thousand years before, like that and such. Of course they did, Mohammed. Of course. I'm sure we can also refer to you as Prophet Mohammed, spiritual brother of Prophetess Miriam from 2000 years ago. Oh, but wait, you didn't even know of a prophetess Miriam. Let me tell you, I knew all kinds of women. All the women. Old, young, small, big, clean, dirty, free, enslaved, healthy, disabled. I'm, I'm losing you again. Apostate. Listen, I just told my people what the Jews and the Christians told each other. Jews used to come to me all the time and tell me things. While I would slaughter them and enslave their women and children, how would I know if they tell me the truth or not, if they feed me poison or food? Oh yes, they even used to call you the ear, because you would just believe everything people told you, right? Yes, the ear of righteousness. Subhanallah, I am a good listener, but Allah told them in the Quran that if they call me the ear again, they will be severely punished. Alhamdulillah! Muhammad, you did not only believe everything people told you, you also corrupted people's knowledge and beliefs. You lied, you committed a big fraud, and you need to be held accountable. You know what, apostate? We have our disagreements and... I don't think we need to discuss that further. We clashed here and there, but I like you. I really do. A P? A P. I like the sound of that. And I really like you too. Really? <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm, I, I always thought you were a complete uh, whatever, but, but, but thank you. Hey, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm so honored. It's, it's great to finally meet you and See who you really are. Yes, yes, Apost... AP? AP? You know, I said you should kill apostates, but I didn't kill every apostate, because who can put up with that? Oh, look! There is Mary! Oh, oh, hi, Mary. How are you doing? What? There is nobody there. I was tricking you. I know. I'm not that dumb. You, you can't trick me. You can't trick anyone anymore, Mohammed. Say peace be! Shh. No, 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 no. I am talking now. And you will listen. You think you are a prophet? You are a prophet? You are this, this amazing, fantastic man that people should respect? You made people follow you and believe in you by threatening them, forcing them, oppressing them, leaving them no choice but to follow you. Where there was light, you brought darkness. Where there was hope, you brought fear, hate, and endless tragedy. You destroyed lives, dreams, cultures. You think you are a prophet? Peace be upon me. I am the apostate prophet. Your time is over. Do you understand that? My time? Your lies, your deception, your endless cycle of oppression and violence, your mistreatment of women, children, and all the others is over. No one will believe you anymore, Muhammad. Be ready, because a new era has begun. We are done with your lies. 
Thank you, AP, for your input. I, I appreciate your insight very much. You do? Yes! Yes, of course! Now, is it true that you end every show with your catchphrase, stay away from Islam? Could you please do that for us now, please? <laughs> okay. Stay away from Islam. Ah, I'm only going to warn you once. Do not subscribe to this channel. If you hit the subscribe button, I'll hit this button. Can't erase.